How many miles to Bali Bridge? Four score and ten. Shall we be there by candlelight? Oh yes, and back again. Shift your feet with nimble light, and you'll be there by candlelight. Open the gates as wide as the sky, and let King George and his lady by. Boot, cat, boot, boot, cat, chicken, boot, cat, boot, boot, cat, chicken, boot. How many miles to Bali Bridge? Four, score, and ten. Shall we be there by candlelight? Oh yes, and back again. Shift your feet with nimble light, and you'll be there by candlelight. Open the gates as wide as the sky, and let King George and his lady by. How many miles to Bali Bridge? Four, score, and ten. Shall we be there by candlelight? Oh yes, and back again. Shift your feet with nimble light, and you'll be there by candlelight. Open the gates as wide as the sky, and let King George and his lady by. Hello, we're Wellbone, and this video is part of Folk's Kindful Cafe project, sharing the folklore of Shropshire. Barley Bridge is a tune that was sung in Shropshire as part of a children's game. It's mentioned in Charlotte Burns book Shropshire Folklore which was published in 1883 and also features in Precious Bane, the Mary Webb novel from the 1920s. It was recorded as being sung in Whitchurch, Ellesmere and Market Drayton but infuriatingly no one recorded the tune it was sung to. We decided to use the words of Barley Bridge themselves to create a rhythm and also to accompany it with three very old ways of making music that anyone can try. The first is body percussion, using your body to make sounds. We're using stomps, finger clicks, claps and slaps to create different tones. One, two, three, four. Right click, left foot, left click, just. Next we're using spoken word to create a rhythm. Traditionally, this often appeared in the form of work songs, where the rhythm of the words in the song complemented the task being done. There's also a tradition of mouth music, where rhythms are created by very often nonsensical syllables strung together. The tradition has come full circle with beatboxes using vocals to recreate electronic drum sounds. For our version of beatboxing, we're going to use three words with different textures. First of all, we're going to use the word boot, but we're going to say it in quite a low way. Boot. Secondly, we're going to use the word cat, and we're going to say this quite high. Cat. Last of all, we're going to use the word chicken, which we'll say like this. Chicken. Using these three words, we can use their sounds to create a rhythm which will sound something like this. We're going to use boot, cat boot, boot cat chicken. Boot, cat boot, boot cat chicken, boot, cat boot, boot cat chicken, boot, cat boot, boot cat chicken, boot, cat boot, boot cat chicken. Finally, we're creating rhythms using ordinary household objects. Once again, we need different sounds. We've got a low sound from a recycling box. We've got a high sound from an old baked bean tin. And we've got a raspy sound from a washboard. But if you haven't got a washboard, then you can use a, a comb or anything with a serrated edge. But not a knife, that would be bad. One, two, three. Now you've seen what we can do, it'd be great to see your versions, so why not video yourself and share it with everyone by posting the video in the comments section below.